does the body reveal health? The body betrays the state of health in various ways. The beginning of some diseases is written on the face, in the voice, in the eyes. A handshake may indicate the ongoing disease process. Artificial intelligence may come to the aid of doctors in capturing this kind of subtlety. But sometimes simple instruments and a thorough examination of the patient are enough. Visual examination of the patient is one of the oldest and still used diagnostic methods. Often, especially if performed by an experienced doctor, as good as the laboratory or imaging tests ordered later. Now research is underway using artificial intelligence, which may be even more perceptive than the human brain in picking up important subtleties. For example, at a recent conference at the American College of Cardiology, a team from the Mayo Clinic showed that the analysis of a patient's voice can determine the likelihood of coronary heart disease. In a study of over 100 volunteers, a certain voice quality was associated with a 2.6 times greater risk of this disorder. Instruments are needed here. The scientists did not listen to the volunteers' speech with their own ears. It was done by a computer with artificial intelligence trained to analyze 80 different parameters. The technology we used uses machine learning to evaluate something that we cannot see with our human brain and ears, explains Dr. Jaskanwal Deep Singh Sara. The number of participants in this study was too modest to draw categorical conclusions, and the technology is still in the research phase. But the results are promising and perhaps in the near future doctors will receive an additional diagnostic tool, especially in remote medical services. Telemedicine is non-invasive, inexpensive and effective. At the same time, it is gaining more and more importance in the face of a pandemic, emphasizes the cardiologist. And he makes an important caveat. We're not suggesting that voice analytics will replace the doctor or current methods of helping patients. But we believe there is great potential for using this technology to complement today's methods. Providing a voice sample is intuitive and even fun for patients and can become a scalable method to support patient management. The specialist notes, if the voice can be used to identify heart problems, it should come as no surprise that the same can be said for a patient with a mental disorder. This was demonstrated by researchers from the University of California in Los Angeles, who for 14 months observed a group of volunteers with serious illnesses, such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder or severe depression. Once or twice a week, participants in the experiment called a special toll-free line and answered simple questions about their well-being or challenges they had recently faced. The intelligent program primarily analyzed the words and how their choice changed over time. To a lesser extent, he also took into account the tone of voice. Researchers say this allowed him to better assess the condition of the volunteers. The way people respond to questions and the changes that occur in those responses are unique to each patient. We look at each person individually, not just at the diagnosis, points out Drive. Arman Arivian, author of the study described in, PLOS One. He explains that artificial intelligence allowed researchers to notice individual, diverse, clinically relevant parameters of language use and voice patterns of patients. In addition to listening to a person's speech, you can carefully look at different parts of it. It turns out, for example, that photos of the retina can indicate the risk of cardiovascular disease, as well as death. After analyzing 90,000 almost 50,000 photos of the fundus of the eye of people, Artificial intelligence has learned to determine the overall risk of death of a given person by comparing the biological age of the retina with the chronological age of a person. The greater the difference, older, 
more damaged retina, the greater the risk of death. Our results indicate that the difference in a person's retinal age and chronological age could potentially be an indicator of aging closely related to the likelihood of death. This suggests that retinal age analysis can be used as a tool for screening and selecting the best aid for patients, the researchers conclude. The same applies to the face. Although research is just beginning here, there is a huge untapped potential associated with the latest computer methods and machine learning, write scientists from the Italian National Research Council. Authors of the analysis of progress in this field. However, what today occupies the heads and laboratories of scientists may find its way to hospitals or clinics tomorrow. It is even possible that programs of this type will work on ordinary smartphones, Italian researchers believe. Experts from Macquarie University in Sydney, for example, claim that thanks to the analysis of the shape of the face, including symmetry, average appearance, or sex characteristics written on it, you can already predict various physiological characteristics related to health, such as body fat percentage, BMI, blood pressure. These parameters are crucial for cardiovascular health. Their research project also showed that people are not too bad at reading the health written on the face. Some tests that can reveal a lot about the state of the body, meanwhile, require only basic instruments, such as a pressure gauge. Researchers from the Korea Institute of Health and Environment recently reported on the relationship between the strength of an adult's handshake and their health. And more specifically, the presence of at least two diseases in them. Information on nearly 20,000 participants indicated a strong, inverse correlation. The stronger the handshake the lower the risk of disease. According to researchers at McMaster University, the strength of your grip can even tell you more about your health than measuring your blood pressure. The handshake assessment could be an easy and inexpensive test to assess the risk of death and heart disease, says Professor Daryl Leong, author of the study published in The Lancet. Doctors or other medical professionals can measure the hug to identify patients with serious illnesses, such as heart failure or stroke, who are at particular risk of death, says the researcher. His team came to this conclusion after four years of observing as many as 140,000 animals. Volunteers aged 35 to 70 in 17 countries. For every 5 kilograms decrease in strength, on average, the overall risk of death increased by 1/6. Strokes and heart attacks were among the leading causes of death. This type of study can also tell a lot about children's health say experts from Baylor University. They conducted a two-year observation of a group of students who were 9 to 10 years old when they started the experiment. According to handshake measurements, as much as 28%, boys and 20%, of girls the researchers classified as weak. In this group, during the observation period. The risk of health deterioration was three times higher than in the group of children with a strong grip. 
the clear correlation held even after controlling for other factors such as cardiorespiratory fitness, blood pressure, family health history, lipid and glucose levels, physical activity, and lean body mass. The grip strength test is simple, non-invasive and can be easily performed in the doctor's office. Such a test is of great value for both adults and children, emphasizes Professor Paul M. Gordon, author of a paper published in the Journal of Pediatrics. No one should be surprised, therefore, if one day a doctor asks him to give a strong handshake. Say a few sentences into the microphone or pose for a photo.